With 2016 coming to a close, a lot of people are already planning trips for next year with like music festivals and conventions. What kind of stuff should we think about before we book these trips? Well, you know what? It's a really good time to be a traveler right now and into 2017. What we see is that air capacity is up about 5%, which means that there are more planes flying to more places than ever before. When that happens, airlines get really hungry for your business, and so they give a lot of good discounts. What we see right now is that airfare tickets are at the lowest they've been since 2013, so it's a really good time to plan your travel and get out there and go. Awesome, and then we want to make sure we're getting the best deals to maximize those savings that you're talking about. So are there specific days that are best to book or to fly? Well, we looked at 8 billion flight searches that happen on Expedia every single year to really understand when the, when the best time is to book. And the sort of magic combination is you want to book 21 days in advance and you want to book on the weekend. If you combine those two things, you'll save about 17% off on average for domestic flights and up to 30% off on average for your flights to Europe, which is huge savings just by choosing what day to book. Awesome. And then the top trending destinations for 2016, what were those and which ones are offering the strongest savings for next year? There's a few really cool new destinations that are, you know, hitting the map for American travelers right now. Places like China, India, Mexico City, you know, Dubai are really ramping up their tourism efforts to attract Americans, which means there's a, there's a lot of really good deals to be had to go to those really exotic destinations. For more traditional destinations, Mexico in general is a great place to go. It's about 25% less expensive to fly to Mexico right now than it was the same time last year. And then of course, Europe is basically on sale right now. You know, if you think about Paris or London as great destinations, the US dollar is so much stronger than the euro or than the pound that you can save a ton of money. So if we take London as a good example, just by booking your flight and your hotel at the exact same time, you can save up to 40% off a trip to London, which is huge savings. Casting, it seems like there's a lot to do in London too. Now, what is your number one piece of advice for travelers looking to save money when booking? I know you told us to look for dates and stuff like that, but is there one thing that we definitely need to keep in mind no matter what? Well, there's a new big trend happening in travel right now called member-only deals. And the way that it works is you go to a site like Expedia or like Hotels.com or Travelocity, um, and just by logging into the site before you do your hotel search, you can save 10% off. There are 70,000 hotels participating in this program at Expedia, and that's just huge savings. All you have to do is log in to save 10% off this huge choice of hotels. And then finally, I didn't even know this until, you know, I knew that I was going to have an interview with you. American workers are known for leaving a lot of vacation days on the table. So how do we compare with other vacation habits from around the world? Well, it's no big surprise that Europeans really have it dialed in when it comes to taking their vacation. You know, we know that they tend to get 25 to 30 days of vacation and they tend to take most or all of that time off. American workers look a little bit more like Asian workers, though. We tend to get about 15 days of vacation and we only take 12, which means that collectively American workers are leaving 375 million vacation days on the table every single year. That's absolutely crazy. And so with these travel tips, maybe we can kind of drop that number and get more people traveling. Exactly. It's good for our health. It's good for our creativity. It's good for the economy. We should all be getting out there. Well, thank you so much for talking to us today, Sarah. Thanks for having me and safe travels.